Hello everyone again this is Frank DeMora with The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth and this is the second video for December the 13th in 2011. If you're on my YouTube channel and you just discovered me please I'd like to invite you to go to my prophecy site that you'll see right here BibleProphecyMan.com and when you're there just scroll down you'll be able to uh, click to this link October 28th you'll be able to download my book today for free no strings attached. Now earlier I gave you a a lot of information but I want to continue on now with the European Union and uh, show you the significance of this European Union. Now in the book of Daniel God showed Daniel uh, all the world powers from the time that Babylon was in, to ex in existence under the King Nebuchadnezzar and uh, when you read the book of Daniel you'll see some symbology uh, and the Babylonian kingdom was likened to gold. And then the Lord told Daniel, showed Daniel, that after Babylon was defeated by the Medo-Persian Empire, we would see that the, the silver was a significant less than gold would be a, a representative of the Medo-Persian Empire. Of course, Persia in modern day uh, language is Iran. And then... Uh, Greece would come along, they would be again decreasing in value the brass, as you can see you had the gold, the silver, and now the brass, but Greece under Alexander the Great defeated the Medo-Persian Empire and uh, his kingdom was divided into four, as you can see right here, four of the generals took over, and then later we saw the Roman Empire and the figure here, and in the vision by Daniel in chapter 2 and chapter 7, the Roman Empire, the legs, and then the final power at the end time, the offshoot of the legs would be the feet, where the ten toes, where we see this revived Roman Empire making uh, existence again during the last days, and it will be de uh, during this time that Jesus Christ would return when these ten kings would be coming, giving their power over to the Antichrist, in the last days. So, we know also from Daniel chapter 2 verses 41 through 43 that this kingdom will be partly strong and partly weak. This kingdom today under the European Union, uh, which is the revived Roman Empire, all the nations that are in this union were in the old Roman Empire. And as we can see now, the union is in deep trouble. They are divided. They are uh, in the process of trying to figure out what they're going to be do with their uh, economy and uh, this collapse of the European Union could also be uh, instrumental for bringing down the United States and the rest of the world uh, economies which will give the form for the Antichrist to form a new system, global economical system that he will have reign over as it says in Revelation chapter 13 verses 16 through 17 that nobody be able to buy or sell, say he that had the mark of the name of the beast, which is the beast is the Antichrist. So according to Daniel, it says, Whereas thou sawest the feet and the toes, partly potter's clay and part iron, the kingdom shall be divided. And there shall be in it that the strength of the iron, for as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with murray clay, and the toes of the feet were part iron and part clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. So we know that there's going to be a breakup of this kingdom, uh, the revived Roman Empire in the last days. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with merry clay, they shall not mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave, not cleave one to another, even as iron is mixed with clay. So that we see a, uh, an organization of unions. That's what we're seeing at the European Union, the revived Roman Empire, uh, breaking apart. Uh, if this is the actual kingdom that the Lord had prophesied about, and right now it does look that way, because they are the exact same nations that used to be in the old Roman Empire, and there's other major prophecies that they've also fulfilled, like the woman riding a beast as they took on as their national symbol for the European Union. You'll see that in Revelation chapter 17. Uh, if you go to and read that about the woman riding the beast, you'll see the colors and the scarlet and purple and whatnot. So let me show you what's happening in the European Union. I've been warning about this breakup 
and I'll, I'll let this video speak for itself. This week, the OECD warned of a grave recession within the Eurozone in the next two years. Apart from that, Moody's threatened to downgrade the ratings of all the Eurozone member states. On top of that, a major Financial Times analyst gave the Eurozone just 10 days before it would collapse if Eurozone leaders didn't do more to save this currency. So we decided to ask people today whether or not it really was the end of the Euro currency. No. Definitely not, uh, because uh, I think finally uh, politicians will will do what they have to do and should have done for a long time already and find concrete solutions and agree hopefully on a wider basis than just Europe on some rules for the financial markets. Now I'm going to stop there for a second because he said that it won't break up and if this is the kingdom that the Lord warned us about, it will break up. Now I don't I don't particularly go in line with this gentleman, but we'll wait and see. And you'll see that uh, one of the responses uh, in this interview I do agree with, and you'll see in a second. I think that uh, the big countries will uh, do a, a contribution and a fund uh, to save the euro. I think it is uh, too important also for them and the economy and their economy to uh, let the euro go down. Afraid, I'm, I'm not really afraid for the moment, but yeah, of course, I, I have close friends who are losing their jobs every day, so uh, I'm Italian, so like, yeah, as you know, in Italy, the situation is not very good at the moment. So yeah, I'm kind of worried, but for the moment I'm safe, but like I said, I've seen a lot of people losing their jobs, and that's kind of scary. Yeah? But, it's only moving on here. I'm going to move it past just a little bit. You can see the whole video when you go into it. Uh... There, I want to play this right here, the end of this. It is likely that certain EU members, EU member states having the euro won't have it in a year's time from now on. But as nobody could predict before the USSR um, was split how it would happen, uh, nor did we know in the Balkans that 250,000 people were finally killed. I think it is extremely difficult to say which direction it will go. But there are strong indicators that it can well happen. All right, so what essentially she's saying is that this entity, this European Union based with the euro, uh, which by the way, some of their coins have the woman riding a beast on it. You'll see this in a Greek coin, which I have, and I've showed it on my site many times. But she's talking about the possibility of this union breaking up. And uh, by the scripture, again, if this is this last kingdom, the world empire that the Lord talked about that the Antichrist would eventually control, then her scenario would come to pass. And this is something that I'm trying to tell the people to look for in case this does happen. So, so far, we see that there's more possibility of it breaking up and forming into another entity that will be more cohesive and more under the restrictions of the guidelines that the European leaders are now wanting to put together. So uh, let's just keep these things in mind. Now along with along with this article I want to just point to this article here and uh, again I'm relating information about the last days empire in the European Union. It says Facing hard times, Greeks start selling hoarded gold and jewelry. It says the rapid uh, uh, deterioration of the income levels in Greece is forcing many to sell gold as a new industry thrives in the streets of Athens and Pyrrhus. The Greek economy has been in a recession to th since 2008 as the government adapts let me move this over a little bit. Stringing austerity measures to meet the terms of the bailout, times can only get harder. So, what does it say? The Greece has seen an upsurge in small companies and shops offering to buy gold driven by record prices. Record prices and the end of many people have to, to raise money during hard times when jobs are uncertain and money is scared. 
sell your gold. We buy your jewels. So there's two things I want you to understand here. Number one, it shows us the, the Greeks are in dire straits. They've already had one bailout. They're getting another one. And people are hurting in Greece. And they're selling their gold. Now, in Revelation chapter 18, we see in that chapter that gold in their silver, people will be crying during the tribulation. They're going to be crying over the lost gold and the silver. So we know that the gold prices are going to continue to skyrocket because people don't cry over items that don't have value. And we know that the gold is already skyrocketing. Just about 10 years ago, gold was selling at $300 an ounce. Now it's making its way close to $1,800 an ounce. So there's a few things to keep your mind in, uh, in focus when you're looking at this article. So let me go back again, if I may, to back to my prophecy site. And we'll go down to the next to the next article here, just as soon as it loads. All right, so here's another article that I don't have to click to, but take a look. Now the euro is, there. they are hurting. It says the euro dropped an 11th month low against the US dollar on Tuesday, which selling set to continue on concerns about the lack of unity among the European nations to tackle the debt crisis and fears of more credit rating downgrades. And so you have, it shows you the, uh, the amount from October to low at $1.31.45 and uh, gives you the rate of the dollar to the euro. And uh, this is just another sign that the euro is definitely in major problems. The currencies are falling. And again, if Euro collapse, uh, there, is, there is some warnings that it would only take a few weeks before it would hit the United States and the United States would also go down because all the banks are connected to one another. And I believe that the only way that the Antichrist would ever be able to get control of a one world system is for the economy to go bust. And that's what I am looking for in relation to scriptures. Uh, here's another one. It says, Alanis, isolation fears push outsiders to embrace Eurozone. And uh, I am going to allow you to go in. Well, let me go to it real quick. I, I do have a few minutes left for the, uh, for the taping here. Let me show you what it says here. As soon as this loads. There you go. It says the, uh, a determination not to be sidelined is driving EU countries that don't use the euro to support deeper integration in a single currency area, even though they reject joining the club until Europe's sovereign debt crisis is resolved. This is very important because uh, it shows the integration that I talked about earlier, that this union of European nations talked about uh, if they can't get it together that they may break up and then there would be certain nations that would stay together under this new integration and this is what I've been saying that we should pay attention because if it breaks down into a group of ten nations it could be those ten nations or the ten kings that Jesus warned about in Revelation chapter 17 and also as we see in Daniel chapter 2 and Daniel chapter 7. So here it says, look at this, nine of the ten non-eurozone EU countries agreed as a summit last week to back the 17 members of the bloc in drafting an intergovernmental plan for a fiscal union to try to save the euro after Britain refused to back the goal of the EU treaty change. So every time you see groups of nine or ten, it really it just makes you wonder, is this the group that will be coming up? Is this the group that will be coming from the breakup as it says that they won't, they won't cleave one to another? And uh, there is a good possibility that this may be the case. Now, we don't know for sure, but we do know that we do have to watch and keep ready uh, for anything at this point. So let me just go back here, just take a second, go back to my post. 
And uh, again, while we're waiting it for it to load, please take advantage of my book. You can get it for free uh, today. And then you have, I want to play this because this talks about the nations being insolvent. And if they're insolvent and people know they're printing up money that is becoming uh, useless as far as the, uh, the currency goes and the value of the money. But listen to what they're saying about the, uh, the economy and where we're going. And I'm going to speed it up a little bit. I guess what I'm asking you, though, is this prevailing view that certainly the U.S. will help in anything that supports big government efforts. Yes, absolutely spot on. The crucial thing of this whole thing is the banking system and the central banking system. Major banks throughout the world in America and in Europe are insolvent and major governments are insolvent and it's just being recognized. You mentioned S&P and this sort of thing, beginning to realize. And so the whole fiat monetary system, which is key to the central banking fraud, is at risk. And so they're going to do anything to salvage it. And of course it means more liquidity, but liquidity doesn't solve solvency. Of course if they forgive the debts, then all the banks are in trouble. So they've just got to pump more and more money. What we're witnessing is a mammoth transfer of wealth from the tax-paying middle class to the state. And that, st that money is anted up and geared up or levered up uh, by printing and uh, leveraged up again in the banking system to just push this problem down the road. And it's all about control, political control. If you just look at what's going through Congress at this very minute, the new National Defense Act, which in clause 1034 allows the American government in future to imprison American citizens without trial and without a charge. These are appalling measures of control, all thinking, well, if this financial thing breaks down, there's going to be rioting on the streets, maybe inconvenient people will be labeled as socialist threat as uh, terrorist threats and put away but john if, and, if, uh, if any of that were to happen i mean obviously okay keep in mind this is what the lord said there would be so civil, civil unrest and if the economy did bust you would definitely see riots not only in the united states but everywhere we invest and support europe i guess because we're afraid of, of the ramifications if we do not much as we had talked of the bailouts of the banks back in 2008 because we feared the alternative we, if we did not. But now we've right. gone from too big to fail to too many to ignore. And I guess we've extended this to countries. You fear that that is at best a slippery slope. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's actually like the Grand Canyon. It's a vertical drop. And uh, once big countries start to go lose their ratings, like France and if Germany loses its rating, the euro is completely kaput. And the United States, I mean, the uh, rating agencies were talking that the, if the super committee failed to reach a solution, they would all downgrade. Of course, none of them have yet. They've all talked about it. They're all behind the game, just as they were with the real estate fiasco, because they dare not uh, downgrade. Uh, because of political pressures. Look what happened to S&P. Every government of the world leapt on their throats and the head of S&P well, was right. forced to Could you imagine what they do now if S&P follows through on what could be a downgrade Absolutely. all the way up to Germany, supposedly the world's yeah, economic model. That would be a mess. You know? They're too frightened to face reality. This yeah. is the awful thing. That is well. And all right. So knowing that, we know we should be looking for some major development. And uh, there is a definite... Uh, signs that the collapse they've been talking about a worldwide depression all of this information by the way you'll find in my book the warnings about the depression coming and uh, specific uh, events uh, leading to this depression so please take advantage of it and then finally we have in revelation or uh, matthew 24 7 pestilence and there's a new uh, infant that had this uh, H1N1, which is a disease that the scientists are, uh, are trying to uh, figure out. And it's one of those diseases that they can't control right now. So uh, these, I'll let you listen to the video at my website. So please go there and watch it because these are the signs of the last days. And again, I'm praying that you will believe the word of the Lord and uh, accept Christ as your personal Savior. Please, I'm asking you, consider the blood of the Lamb, what He did for you.